Welcome back everyone, this is the Emerge I-51 UK Masters. I'm Maddles, with me is Penguin, and we are in the Loser's Bracket Round 3, so like Loser's Bracket Semi-Final, PVZ, it's going to be damn awesome. Are you ready Penguin? I am so, so, so ready. So, 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 so ready. So ready. Oof. I wish we had cameras because we are like, oh, doing like head bobs and like, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> in the top left position, blue Zerg player. Representing Fnatic, it's Mini Razor. Top right, Red Protoss representing Dignitas. Bling! You think we're gonna see some bling stalkers? Some bling stalkers certainly might bling their way into the main base. That'll be good. I, I thought the worst. Someone actually in my stream chat a couple of days ago when I was casting another event pointed out I was casting Goody. And after three games of like hour-long games from Goody, I s had a slip of the tongue and said Goody. No, I said Grubby rather than Goody. Okay, and they came up with the worst caster setup would be Nama Mana versus Goody Grubby. No, no, I could, like Goody Grubby aren't that close. Nama Mana versus. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Okay. Anyway, spawning pool first, coming down from Mini Razor here. Meanwhile, Bling going for a gate first. One gas with four probes in it. New meta. New meta indeed. That's a bit of a mistake here. He'll probably notice before too long, hopefully, because that is essentially just a wasted pro at the moment. You do mind a tiny bit more with the fourth on some gas geysers? Not on this one. No, because it's only on the ones which have a really big distance between. It's like one of actually the new maps has a really imbalanced gas yeah, placement. Yeah, that is so bad. Anyway, um... We've got some links on the way. We have six links on the way for Mini Razor, and, uh... This is a build that we saw Jamesikins throw out yesterday. Yep. Against Bling. Uh, actually, also against Bling. So, um... Basically, what Mini Razor is trying to do is he's going to try to force a cancel on the Nexus mm -hmm. and hope for a Zealot cancel. There was no Zealot cancel for Bling against Mini Razor. We'll have to see. He does cancel it this time around. So, this is actually fairly good for Mini Razor to start things off. So, this is all cool. Uh, aware about the technical issues, by the way, stream. Sorry about those. We'll try and correct them while we're going. Alright. Now, meanwhile, we do have... Uh, this next has begun. Mothership Core is out. Okay, so the Mothership Core is out. And... Yeah, my mic's on. Talk. I'll keep talking. So, <laughs> Lings are on their way through at the moment. Uh, gonna be pushing forward, trying to get a little bit of damage down. Um, actually, only probes here. Bling skipped the Zealot, so he's having to defend this purely with a Mothership Core. Which, again, what is six Lings is a little bit awkward, but... Mini Razor only managing two probe kills so far in exchange for these six Lings. Would have been a lot better if he'd been able to get at least three probes, because then at least it would have been neutral in lava. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, can you hear me now properly? Is it good? Hopefully it we can. Okay, cool. So, um, that, the Nexus is perfectly fine. We did not really see those links do much at all. We saw a couple of probe kills, but nothing too critical. And we have Bling going for a Stargate in the wall now. So, this is not really something he's hiding, but it's going to be used for pressure, obviously. Only one additional gateway so far. So, we'll probably see him add on at least one more. It's pretty standard to see a Stargate with three gateways, sometimes four, if you want to put on a lot of pressure. And I'm, I'm just interested to see if he's going to go Phoenix or Oracle. Based on the current rally point of the Stargate, I would say Phoenixes. It wouldn't surprise me either. Bling is a big advocate of going quite a lot of um, Phoenixes, just generally. Um, glad the tech issues are aware. Sorry I was a bit quiet there. I was trying to fix everything while still casting, which isn't easy. But yeah, in comes one Ling. Gets a nice little scout. Not that he's not seen everything at the wall off anyway, but actually an oracle first coming down okay. from Bling. Cool. So the oracle from Bling is going to try to do a little bit of damage here. Uh, additional gateway coming on down as well. So that's going to be Bling going up to three gateways here. And so far, Midi Razor is just sitting pretty at 36 workers, but no third base just yet. So uh, this oracle could do a little bit of damage here. There's a lot of drones coming out. There are queens out, but no uh, spores yet. Uh, he's gonna need to put those down pretty soon if he wants them to be ready by the time that are Well, I mean, the Oracle's already almost there. This is... Yeah, this is gonna be a little tough. The uh, Spores are coming down now, but the Oracle's already pretty much there. We've got double upgrades coming down for Lings, so... 
It looks like we're going to be seeing a, a Link-centric play coming out of Mini Razor, but Bling does have this Oracle already doing work. Five kills there. Gets out with its life. It can pop back in and kill a couple more later. Good start. Full HP as well, which is really important because it's yes. a shield to a generator. This is basically a full health Oracle in a couple of short seconds. So this is really important for Bling because while five worker kills isn't that great, if he comes back in and even gets, say, three, four more, it's suddenly definitely a worthwhile investment. Behind this bling, adding in the robotics facility, adding in the forge, and it's just transitioning quite nicely. Still only on those three gates, though. And uh, I, I want to point out that while we do have a significantly later third base than normal coming down from Mini Razor at about eight minutes here, uh, that's actually fine because when you're going for the link centric build, uh, for the link centric play here with, uh, with the double upgrades, the double upgrades are. Like a fine, like okay. So basically, at Zerg, you want to have one advantage. Usually, people try to take it in the economy because it's the easiest advantage to take. Instead, we have Mini Razor opting for the upgrade lead, which is fine. So taking a later third is fine. He's not behind or anything like that. He's sacrificing economy to get his upgrades out just a little bit faster, and he's going to be going into probably Infestors and Ultralisks later on in the game. A bunch of lanes are already out. Speed nearing completion as well should finish around the same time as plus one plus one. This Oracle still alive, eight kills on it now. Quick little move out now, um, or a single Ling moving out, just to come and confirm if that third base is down. So this is a good early scout by Mini Razor, knowing that, hey, my opponent's expanding to a third. That means that he must be sacrificing something elsewhere. And the, what Bling is sacrificing is actually his production. He's only got the robotics bay coming down. So adding in tech, adding in the Twilight Council in order to start plus two. Um, as soon as plus one's finished, and also blink, but only three gateways, so not much production yet. Yeah, not really, and uh, just getting those Colossi out right now, he does have the Mothership Core there with full energy, he can use Photon Overcharge to his heart's content. He's going to be able to clear up a little bit of creep here with that Oracle and the Observer, and Hallucinated Phoenix will be able to scout pretty much everything that needs to be seen. Uh, the Infestation Pit's done, Hive hasn't quite started yet, no, wouldn't expect to start for another 30 seconds or so at least. Actually, he is going to start it now, so that's a very early Hive here, 10 minutes 30. And, uh, well, that's going to allow him to jump straight into the 3-3 three, three upgrades when 2-2 two, two is done. 2-2 two, two already on the way before plus 1 is even finished for Bling. So, Mini Razor going for a very upgrade-heavy composition. Or upgrade-heavy build, rather. And, uh, well, Bling's going to need to add on a bit more production now. He does have three gateways nearing completion here. Also getting that Blink up as well. But now, this is where we start to see a lot of Lings come into play here for Mini Razor. 20 Lings on the way right now, and... He's going to have a lot of map control. The creep spread for this guy, also very, very good so far. Bling really going to have to be keeping a close eye on his army. I love the addition of Pathogen Glands and the Infestors coming out from Mini Razor, but also the Hive. Beautiful revelation coming down. Gets a complete look at this main base and pretty much everything there. So, already some good information from Mini Razor. The important thing is that... Once the hive is done, Vipix can start coming down, and that's the essential piece of the puzzle to make sure that these colossi don't just wreck everything. The biggest thing about the hive is um, mostly actually for the for the link composition, it's going to be for the ultralisks. He needs the ultralisks here, and the infestors. The infestors are going to hold everything in, in in place. A couple of vipers here with blinding clouds are very good. If you can get blinding cloud and fungal uh, fungal growth, that's just really scary. Like you just can't move and you can't like you can't get out of the blinding cloud to actually attack. We have a bit of an engagement here. A couple of investors actually getting caught. The Colossi will be forced to recall out. One or two sentries did go down there before the recall actually registered. These lings getting in on the action straight away. Three Colossi are out so far, but the problem is that the Ultralisk Caverns on the way, there's no real immortals. But there is a second robotics bay uh, robotics facility finishing on up, and now we are starting to see immortal production. This is essential, especially with the Ultras coming out. It's probably the best counter that Bling has to those, uh, aside from Void Rays. I'd argue Void Rays are better, which we may see some later on as well. 3-3 three, three upgrades works. coming through from Mini Razor. Um, and Mini Razor's just playing a solid game. He really is. He's, uh, he's done a very good job so far, just not taking too much damage. But Bling as well. He's also looking in a good spot. It's going to come down basically to the engagement, to the control and the engagement to the fungals, to the blinding clouds, and uh, to the focus fire on the immortals, stuff like that. There's going to be a whole bunch of factors. It's going to be a very, very control-based big fight that's probably going to decide the game here. And basically, both players are just kind of readying themselves for that fight. We've got the immortals popping on out. We have uh, the first ultralisk on the way, chitinous plating coming on up, 3-3 three, three on the way, plus 3 on the way, charge. Just both players just continuing to macro up, 
and waiting to get that ultimate army before they clash. And when they do clash, it's all going to come down to probably the spell casts on Mini Razor's side, actually. Are the Blinding Clouds good? Are the Fungal Growths good? Because if they hit their mark, Blink doesn't really have much of a response to them. There's no High Templar in the composition in order to feed back the Infestors or the Vipers, so he's got no way to shut them down. As long as Mini Razor hits them, it's going to be tough for Blink. It is indeed. High Templar should be added into the composition soon. Storm has just started. How many Immortals are we at right now as well? Three, soon to be five. Four High Templar are being warped in right now. That's a good call. And uh, those are going to be very, very critical too. Some Archons wouldn't go amiss either. They're very good at tanking here because the problem is like these Zealots are kind of dead supply. They're going to get shredded so quickly by the Ultralisks. It's almost going to be like they didn't actually exist. It will be painful. It will be very, very painful. Additional Stargates coming through as well. Probably going to see some Void Rays added into the mix as well from Bling. A uh, good way to start taking down those Ultras nice and quickly with their Prismatic alignment. The Ling's holding the Watchtower. Going to be the first warning to Mini Razor that the Protoss is advancing. So there's also a nice little Zealot warping down to the fourth base that should get cleaned up easily with these Ling's. Yeah, Ling's are so good with... No Adrenal Glands actually up yet, but 2-2 two -two Ling's still kill stuff very quickly. There's no armor upgrades on this Mini Razor army. 3-3 almost done for Mini Razor. He does not want to engage for the next 20 seconds, if at all possible. But Bling is not going to press the issue just yet. There's a counterattack coming on into the third base of Bling. There's a lot of Lings here. There's not really much to defend this. The cannon trying to do its work. A couple of Zealots being warped in, but with no armor upgrades, they melt here. And the entire army has been forced back. And these Lings are basically just being traded away anyway. Mini Razor doesn't necessarily want these Lings. He wants to trade them away for more supply-efficient units here. And we have an Ultra in production here. And we'll probably see maybe maybe another couple of Ultras, a few more Infestors. Mini Razor's probably just trying to decide what he wants right now because he, he does have the money and the Larva, just not making them yet. This army from Bling is looking terrifying. It's got pretty much all of the composition that he wants in this late game. Adding in the Fleet Beacon as well, so this gives him some good options. Also adding in the plus one air weapons. The important thing about this Fleet Beacon and also the additional Stargates is that he's going to be ready for the Anion Pulse Crystals in case there's the big Mutalist tech switch, which Mini Razor could throw out. Mini Razor is the kind of guy who likes that stuff yep. too, like he really likes to do his Muta Switches. But thus far, we don't actually have a Spire from him, so it doesn't even look like he's considering that at the moment. We do have some Zerg Missile attacks coming on in, he's starting to get the range upgrades. There's the Double Spire, just as I say that. And uh, the Double Spire is also going to be nice, but with Double Spire, he's probably not going to look to actually do a switch for a long time until a couple of upgrades are done. Double Tempests in production now for Bling as well, just to get some good range on that army. This is a really scary army. Not going to lie. I, I, he's going to trade away some Zealots, and I would love for Bling to replace that with Archons. And then it's just going to be like the ultimate scary death Ooh, ball. Ooh, Tempest coming in. And yeah, I mean, the, the Lings are going to run into the third again. And eh, he's not going to get too much. He does pick up a nice number of probes and gets away with about half the links as well. So not terrible. The Zealots here over at the bottom left also cleaned up. So there's a lot of queens in this composition. Both of these compositions, both of these armies just look really, really scary. Nice little takedown from this Zealot Warpen up in the main base. It's been quite frustrating. Big pull of Infestor Terrans. They should shut this down. The Infestors, though, going down to the Zealots. Very annoying. Bling yeah. is simultaneously pushing Zealots into the fourth base too. This is beginning to get a little bit rough. Mini Razor is doing a good job of, of holding uh, holding so far, but losing those investors was a bit of a mistake. Those are incredibly gas expensive units here, and while he does have a nice bank, you, you don't want to be losing that much gas there for free. And uh, well, this has been a remarkably passive game, surprisingly so. We do have do we have double air upgrades? We have two cyber cores. That's pretty cool. It's worth noting. Resources lost, 5,000, 5,500 roughly on both sides. So that is not very much. incredibly <laughs> low at 20 minutes in a game. Once again, we have the Protoss pushing out here with this very scary army, but we have Lynx trying to get on into the natural. Lynx trying to get into the third. The Tempests have been revealed. Mini Razor knows about this. And once again, Lynx is going to pull back to try to defend. He's losing some probes here. Not in the world, but he's still sitting at 56, which is honestly fine for the late game. The Spires are cancelled there in the natural as well by these Zealots, so another nice counterattack here by Bling. He's done so well with those so far. Enduring Locusts on the way, and Mini Razor looks to be taking towards Swarm Hosts. It's really important to note that the bank for Mini Razor is pretty damn high. He's up at 4.5k minerals. 
two and a half ish gas. That is a large bank that he's going to be able to produce a lot with. And when he's already maxed out for the most part with nine ultralisks there, he's if they go down, he frees up a ton of supply. Very true. And the spire is going to be nearing completion as well. So he, he really has a lot of options here. Does he want to remax on swarm hosts? Does he want to remax on mutas? Another second spire coming in to help get those upgrades once again. Ling run by, not really going to do too much this time around. Almost all the lings are dead. It actually will unpower three gateways. So that's pretty nice. Had a bit of production, but Bling is maxed out, so yeah, doesn't really cause him a problem. Double air upgrade still coming through, which is important. Um, Enduring Locust now nearly done. The Ultras and Queens just busy going through, and Mini Razor is looking to wait this one out. A ton of Spore Crawlers coming through. He's getting ready for late game Zerg Swarm host style. He really is, and this could be a long game. Habitation Station is a very conducive map to the Swarm Host style. It's very, very good on this map. And Bling, just happy to sit back and be content with his army. He's got a very scary army. He's got a very scary economy here. But I have to say, he 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 does have a good, like a really good composition for facing Swarm Host as well. But nobody likes to face face off against Swarm Host. I feel like he he may try to make something happen soon. A tunnelings making their way, going for another counter attack through, and I like this from Mini Razor, doing as much as possible just to keep harassing. He's going straight in, splitting to the main and natural base. This is frustrating. A lot of probe deaths gonna encounter Bling now. Yeah, and uh, the Ling's just able to see everything as well, seeing that there's void rays coming out instead of tempests now, seeing that there are in fact double air upgrades on the way. Bling is just once again not attacking here. He's posturing, but he's not attacking. And now, a lot of corruptors coming in. Those are the those are some of the very very core units in a swarm host composition. We haven't actually seen any swarm hosts yet, though, which uh, is a bit of a blessing. But we may see them come out. He's prepared. He's ready for swarm hosts if needed. But he's going to struggle to get them out now because of these nine ultralisks. A huge amount of his army supplies tied up in that. Yeah, I think he's waiting for one big fight to happen first, and that might happen now. Bling is. Slowly but surely starting to encroach on Mini Razor's territory once again. The army slowly but surely whittling away at the spores, but we have some good, uh, some good, uh, transfusions going down, not allowing those to die. And here we go, Mini Razor's gonna try to engage immediately the recall, but he misses off on so many Templar. That's a lot of dead Templar, and overall, I would not say that was a good trade there for Bling. So, this is really important now for Mini Razor. He's taken out a lot of gas heavy units, but Bling has a decent amount of gas in the bank. Upgrades are currently sitting at, um, oh, wow, it's only actually a 3-1 for Bling. He must have lost that when the forge got killed off. Yep. So he lost the plus two upgrades. And well, he is actually pretty far behind in upgrades right now. Like we already have plus two ranged attacks coming out, like already done here for, plus three ranged attacks is almost done for Mini Razor here. And, Bling, once again, starting to posture aggressively. The, pro the problem is, he may have more Templar than before, but those were full energy Templar that died. More Lings getting into the natural here. Not going to be able to do too much here. These Zealots are going to clean those up. I'd like to see a fifth base coming down from Bling. He's been on four bases for quite a while. The third base starting to run a little bit dry. He's actually, all yeah, he's sitting on 46 workers as well. So I I'm liking the drone count and the probe count for both guys. Mini Razor can start to throw away a couple more, a couple more drones in my opinion. The Investor count for Mini Razor is actually completely gone. He's lost all of those investors throughout the game. That means that he doesn't have the option to get some big fungal growths, which would be really important if these two engagements, or if these two armies came straight across. Yeah. Fifth base finally going down for Bling here. And uh, as he's... Okay, so another Ultralisk Cavern coming down. I'm not sure what that's about. The old one is still alive. Uh, I did just check. So, uh, auxiliary, auxiliary tech structures coming in. I guess it doesn't hurt. If he does lose the Ultralis Cavern, it's going to be nice to have that around. And once again, we do have Bling posturing aggressively. He's been doing a lot of this posturing, but he hasn't ever committed into this. And now, this may be the time, but there is enough energy for a recall. Oh no, the High Templar! The High Templar are in the front, and this is a bit of a disaster, but a lot of feedback's going down on all of the Vipers. Is this going to be enough to break this Mini Razor supply? Absolutely plummeting here, Bling! is reigning supreme in this fight the void rays charged on up decimating those corruptors the ultras just absolutely melted to the immortals and mini razor is trying to remax but corruptor ling i don't know how well that's gonna fare against this the void ray count isn't that high as you said so 
And in terms of anti-air, yeah, all that's actually seeing though is the four Void Rays, the five Tempest, the Archon, and the three Stalkers. So there's also storms though. There, there yeah, are there still are. good three storms. So here we go again. The Lynx coming on in. There are still storms. Will we see the storms launched? We will indeed. The Lynx absolutely disappearing once again. Six Ultras on the way, which does mean that a lot of the supply that you see from Mini Razor here is not actually on the map at the moment. Eight Ultras on the way. We've also got so many. Bling is actually counter uh, pushing him with another big Zella warp into the main base, where he's picking off a couple of queens, but there's nothing here to defend. While Mini Razor is losing his fifth and sixth base, this is looking mighty good for Bling. Sure, he's going to be losing these Tempers because he lacks any anti air and also those Colossi, but this is so much supply. Mini Razor's thrown into Corruptors that, in essence, are now useless. And these Immortals can still try to get something done. They can try to focus down a couple more of these Ultralisks before going down. And that is exactly what they're going to do. One of these Ultras will go down. Another one also getting quite low here. So they are getting the most out of themselves. Now, Mini Razor is out of money. He has no more minerals. He does have a gold base here, which is going to help him get a nice influx of minerals. But Mini Razor is going up against a five base Protoss here. And Bling has plenty of income to just continue to remake this army. Two Void Rays, two Immortals on the way. Five Archons already out, as well as a decent number of Voideries as well. There's a lot of gas here. You can just continue to warp in Archons, honestly. So, Bling now with the base advantage. Mini Razor has spent the majority of his mineral bank, but he's still sitting there with nearly 4k gas. Can he actually spend, or can he get enough minerals in, missing these additional bases? Probably not. His hive has also been taken off, so he's having to remake that at the third base, up from a lair. Or up from a hatchery, actually. It's a big delay in getting that tier 3 tech through again. When he doesn't have any vipers out, that's annoying. It really is, but uh, now we may have another fight going on here. We already have four phoenixes out as well just to deal with mutas, but there were none, so the phoenix production was also cut. Couple of lings going down to the archons. Archons shred those so quickly. Three more ultralisks on the way now for a mini razor, but I don't know if ultras are the right call here. Like, almost everything in this army is good against Ultralisks. We have Archons, which tank really well for them. Void Rays, which do well against Armored. And Immortals, that is straight up hard counter Ultras. It's an interesting choice. I love the way Mini Razor, though, is continuing on with this Speedling aggression. They 3-3 with Adrenal Gland, so they deal a ton of damage. The Bling, he's keeping a couple of units around. He's got good numbers of cannons everywhere. It's going to be really tough. For these speedlings to really do anything, nice little warp in there at the wall off. Yeah, and now at this point, the the mineral income for Mini Razor is pretty decent. He's got this gold base thriving. He's got this bottom left hatchery recompleted, so he can start to spend that giant gas bank. But Bling's not going to give him time. He's moving out. That is a ton of Archons battles. That's nine Archons, eight Void Rays, four Mortals, seven Zealots, four Phoenixes, and a whole lot of death potential. I'm surprised Bling hasn't attempted to take this gold base yet because so much of Mini Race's attention has been down to the south of the map at the moment, which are very fortified positions. In come the Void Rays though. They're going to shred through that hatchery insanely fast with prismatic alignment. As and with plus two attacks. Yeah. But in come the Corruptors. A few good corruptions going down on those Void Rays. Brilliant fungal growth there from Mini Rays. The engagement down to the south though. The Ultra's trying to close up the distance, but that Archon Immortal Force proving too strong. Those Archons are just tanking so well. The Immortals just remaining untouched completely. All of these drones are going to die at this base. That is another very unfortunate place to be a drone. Um, the Void Rays are still alive. They will try to put, take them out now, but now we have the engagement here. On the high ground is Bling. Mini Rays are trying to push up a choke. It's not really the best position to be in. There are enough Corruptors to clean up the air, though. A lot of the units are going down for Bling, but Mini Rays are likewise losing a lot here. All of the Archons are going to fall, but all of the Ultralisks also died. That is just so much stuff down. It's going to be ridiculously hard in order for these people to actually make it, or either player to remake much at all, because Bling's short on gas, Mini Razor's short on minerals. It's such a tough position. It really is, and now we have another Ling run by here. But Bling does have enough income that he can continue really producing units here. Mini Razor's really struggling. He lost the gold, which is really the, the best part of his economy here. The bottom right, the bottom left base still has workers, but it's being assaulted by Zealots now as well, and if that goes down, that's going to be an absolute disaster here. And uh, the Lynx are going to try to, de to deny the, the kill on that, but there's just not enough transfuse energy with these extra Zealots coming in, but with the Infestors and the Lynx there, looks like Mini Razor should be able to hold this quite convincingly. But Bling has such a big supply lead. 
He has a big supply lead, and that's because he's got a big economic lead. He's double the worker count, and that really reflects in their incomes. 1,300 minerals compared to about 700-800 from Mini Razor, and 600 plus gas compared to only 100 gas per minute from Mini Razor. Admittedly, Mini Razor doesn't need the gas because he's at 3,500 banked up, but both of these two are scrambling for resources to try and get out a sizable force. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we basically just have Mini Razor trying to do as much damage as he possibly can here with these Ling Run buys, but Bling has his number now, and it's just not really working anymore. Bling is able to deny this. Finally, Bling is going to be able to take his gold base. That's going to be, that's going to mark him having every single base on his side of the map. Gold base coming up from Mini Razor once again as well. Mini Razor getting out a couple of Vipers as well. He does have these spores as well from earlier in the game, which are going to really help in delaying this Void Ray heavy composition from pushing on forward. But overall, the army compositions are heavily favoring Bling. Ten Void Rays, four, uh, four Templar, three Immortals, eight Zealots against two Ultras, eight Corruptors, two Vipers, and two Investors, and seven Lings. The Corruptors are outnumbered by the number of Void Rays. Yeah. That's and always a good spot. And as you said, out upgraded. Plus the storms. Mini rays are struggling to get hold of any more bases, really. It's getting insanely tough for Bling to get a good spot here. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just trying to think about a way that Mini Razor can win this, and I think it's just going to come down to he he's going to need. First of all, he's going to need Bling to give him time to build up an army. Second of all, he's going to need the most godly engage of all time because he does have both Infestors and Vipers out. He can get some Blinding Cloud Fungals. But at this point, Bling's army is just so much scarier. Bling, playing it safe, he doesn't want to throw it away with an overcommittal or anything because he, he's not entirely sure that Mini Razor is as dead as he is, actually is. But, I mean, the, the army for Mini Razor doesn't look that small here. We have to consider that he also has significantly less workers, which means that a lot of the extra supply is in army supply. Well, the army so, supply is currently 105 to 76. Yeah, that's not as big a discrepancy no, as No, it's not. Think. Especially when you factor in that there's queens are there, so you've got transfuses. Especially on the ultras, that's going to be really powerful. But Bling, he has taken every base on his side of the map now. Mini Razor is only mining off of one base. Yeah, one base. That's not a good economy. I'll bring the bars up, but as you can see, when you're mining like five times more minerals per minute and seven times more gas per minute, I generally call that a good position. Yeah, Lings are going to be able to get a nice little run by here into the gold base of Bling. There's nothing there to defend that just yet. A couple of Zealots going to move on in to try to kill these off. They should be able to do that without too much of a problem. A couple more workers going to be able to go down, but at this point, Bling's nearing max. He is ready to push. He's on the creep. He's moving forward. And he's looking for blood metals. He's looking to kill. He's got a good 80 supply lead here. And he, I mean... Yeah, if he controls properly, there's no way Mini Razor can win. He's gonna need uh, Bling is gonna need to make f very large control errors to to lose this. I'm trying to think if there's anything Mini Razor can do. Even if he holds on, Bling is gonna max him. He's adding. Like oh no! He just sacrifices all of his Vipers and losing a couple of Corruptors to boot. That's not how you want to start an engagement as Mini Razor right now. That that's just no. That that oh that hurt. That really hurt. Anyway, we do have a really nice fungal in the middle of the army. That is a really good fungal. But the fight, the feedback's going down on the investors. There's none left. Here comes the big push. The prismatic alignment is used. Storms on absolutely everything. The ultras are trying to get done what they can, but they are also getting shredded by these immortals. The void rays can also shred them as soon as they turn their attention to them. GG's called. Well played. Bling was going to take game at number one in this best of three series.